Hey guys, this is the box I got. This is the box other people got. This box is all holographic and cute and I feel like somebody stepped on my box with a shoe. I'm actually not mad though because they gave me bubble wrap and bubble wrap is the OG pop it. I have a serious question. Are you the kind that like to pop it one by one or do you like to twist it and pop it all together? <laughs> I like to do both. It just depends on my stress level. But let me know which one you prefer in the comments below. When I opened the box and read the lid, I was a little confused, but you know, we're gonna keep going. They sent lashes, card, wig caps, tweezers, a bag, another bag, a net, and here's the hair. The cap construction is a 13 by four transparent lace front. It has four combs. There's some baby hair. Claims to have slightly bleached knots and pre-plucked human hair. The length is 20 inches, which on a one year old, it comes right past the onesie. I'm going to apply this to my head, not as a frontal, so I'm cutting off as much of the lace as I can. If I cut a few strands of hair, that is completely fine, but what I don't want is this lace showing. Haters will say that it matches my complexion, but when I turn it over, it is lighter than me. So I'm using coffee. I already drank a cup of coffee this morning, so I'm just using some leftover grounds. And I'm putting in a cup of water and we're gonna hope for the best that I'm able to tint this lace with used coffee grounds. I took the hot coffee in a bucket, I placed the wig in it, and as I was doing this, I started thinking about when we had cookouts, and you know how your uncle would fry the fish, and you knew that everything was gonna taste like fish, the french fries were gonna taste like fish, and the shrimp was gonna taste like fish, because everything was cooked in the same grease, but it didn't matter because you knew it was gonna be good once you ate it. That's not what this smelled like. It smelled like something else. It was really stinky. And I don't even think the coffee worked. I shampooed and conditioned the hair to get the smell off and just because I wanted it clean. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because most of this video was recorded with a baby on my hip. And that is her cute little baby foot right there. As I was cleansing the hair, I noticed a brown tinge to the water and a part of me thought it was from the coffee, but then a bigger part of me thought it was from the hair dye. So after shampooing it a couple of times, it did minimize and then I conditioned it. Throughout the whole process of shampooing, conditioning, and even installing my hair, I did lose a few strands here and there. My baby girl is so afraid of this thing, but we've been through a lot, so I can't get rid of her. I'm just putting some foam mousse on her right now because I'm going to flexi ride set. After shampooing and conditioning, this hair was virtually tangle free. However, I did lose a few more strands during the process. The pack of flexi rods that I have has six of each, so I didn't have enough of the teal ones for the whole head, so I just put a yellow one there. Since the hair was still wet and I had mousse on it, I used my comb to make sure that the roots were flat before it dried. And now I'm removing the curls because they've been sitting for like a day or two and they're pretty much dry. The only one that did not dry was the big yellow one in the back. And as you can see, I have a helper again. This little baby is gonna be doing hair pretty soon, y'all. 
All the hair took the shape of the curl except for the one where I used the yellow flexi rod and that one is still pretty damp on the inside but everything else was dry. In case you're curious, this is what my hair is currently looking like. I haven't applied any product in it. It's not blonde at the moment. I did apply a reddish brownish demi permanent color to my hair so it's giving off a lot more red than brown so we're working with it. Here is my braid pattern and I wanted to do a deep part and so I cornrowed my hair with the part on the side and then just going straight back. I'm using this wig cap that came with the hair. This helps me to pin up my hair so that I don't have to use bobby pins or needle. I don't have to use bobby pins or needle and thread to pull my hair up. The color really doesn't matter. I actually wore this hair again with a black wig cap underneath, so you really can't see it anyway. When I first put it on, I realized it was very big. Then I realized I hadn't connected these little ends. I just connect the ends, the hooks together. When I do this, every wig I've ever worn fits my head perfectly. Off camera, I applied several bobby pins around my hairline. So I'm showing you how I did it using the last bobby pin. You can sew the hair down. You can use glue or hairspray whatever you want to do but this works for me because I can wear the hair out during the day and remove it each night. I think it keeps the hair better when I don't sleep with it. Right now I'm just taking my fingers and finger combing through the curls. I did get some tangles, some knotting, and I did get some more shad hair. This is how it's laying. Overall I do like the look. I chose not to like treat it as a true lace front or frontal or whatever. The ear tabs are behind my ears, so I didn't even cut those off. And all I did was put bobby pins on the side right here. And this is my natural hair that I laid my edges. So can you tell that this is a wig? Absolutely. Are there better ways to apply this wig? Absolutely. Do I care? Absolutely not. I am on Zoom about 95% of the time and I always take my wigs off um, at nighttime and so I just treated this as a closure. I don't really like this. I tried to tin it, it didn't really work and I feel like I need to cut more lace off like right here but I just chose to kind of do a little swoop action here and so it's doing what I want it to do. So I feel like I look cute. I'm going to show you the picture of this wig online right beside me and you make the determination as far as if you feel like this wig looks like that one. I'm not really sure if it looks just like that. I feel like I look cute, but I feel like her highlights look a little different than my highlights. If you are interested in getting this hair, if you are looking for something on a budget, this is the hair for you. I do have a coupon code that I'll leave right here and down below. So be sure to check out Yolova. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope it helps some of y'all. <laughs> Bye.